hello. Um, let me just say that you might be able to pick up one of the neighbors mowing the lawn. Now, none of us have very big lawns, so it shouldn't take long. But the upstairs neighbor has been moving stuff around on his balcony. Uh, upstairs has balconies, we have gardens down here. So, and was making a lot of noise. <coughs> Sorry. So, I didn't record. Waited to he, until he finished. And set everything up. And now someone's mowing their lawn somewhere. What can you do? I mowed my lawn on Monday. In a bit of, of a rage. It's, I have one of those push mowers. We have a we have a, an electric mower that all of us can use um, but the people who lived here before left their manual push mower and it's like our gardens aren't that big so I just use that um, and it's great for taking out aggression when your co-workers annoy you so yeah, I hate mowing the lawn, but you know, it is helpful. That's all the excuses for this time, I think. Okay, so what have I been doing since last time? Not a whole lot. I've been working, still working remotely. Um, we won't get back to work until the earliest will be the 11th of May according to our um, director and I've been sewing a bit and I've been knitting a bit and I've been doing some gardening so and by gardening I mean I've been planting some bulbs a different uh, I only planted one plant and then I've planted a lot of flower bulbs and yeah so um, should we start with the knitting because not a lot of has changed with the knitting um, we have this which is still my um, Wool and Honey by Andrea Mary and the issue with this is still that it's got a stitch on 3.5 millimeter needles so it's taking forever it has grown a bit it has grown okay I'll be honest it has grown 20 rows um, and I only know this because I noticed that I had nine garter ridges and decided, oh, before I record, I'll just, I'll just knit the tenth. I don't know why. I mean, it's not going to get done any earlier by showing you a tenth row. I mean, see, last week, no. 10. It's, it's going to be got done when it's done, which admittedly I would rather be soon. I am thinking, we know I don't like long sleeves and what I'm wearing is like the anti of that, but yeah, I can push them up at least. Um, so I am actually thinking maybe I'll just do the cuffs up here and do a wide cuff to to uh, mimic my hairs everywhere. I shed like a dog, um, well, like most shedding animals. Um, there will be. If I remember correctly, there will be a 
quite wide rib at the bottom. And I'm thinking, well, this already goes down a bit. Not quite as far as that, but, you know, goes down a bit. So adding a cuff, it might still be about elbow length. Um, ideally, I would prefer it to be below elbow length, but I think I will need... Sorry. Both of these skeins to finish uh, the body. I'm pretty sure I will. Which means I have one skein left for the sleeves. So I'm thinking of dividing that in two. And just knit as far as I can on both sleeves. Yeah. It's getting warmer, so I don't know. <laughs> this will be nice for putting on as a layer when it gets cold in the evening or in the morning. Like, I don't really need a coat at the moment, except that it is a bit cold or a bit chilly, you know, in the morning, at, in the evening. Not that I'm going out. I literally go out in the garden, sit for a bit if it's sunny, putter around a bit, and I go to the shop. That's my social life. <laughs> I think we are, most of us are like that at the moment. Um, but yeah. It is, it will be a nice layering piece. It just needs to get done. And I don't know. I don't know. It's just. So it is around here, which is also where my the pants I'm wearing end. You can't see, but I'm wearing the Pietra pants by um, Closet Case Patterns. And I really need to make the white-legged version, I think, in maybe a black linen. I don't have a black linen. I need more of these trousers, oh, is what I'm saying. But yeah, so... Needs to be... Needs more knitting. Let's just put it like that. Needs more knitting. Which is also the review of my life at the moment. <laughs> um, I'm sitting on yarn. Excuse me. There we go. What else? I only have one other thing I've been working on, which is my Rauma Gänse from the 246 um, magazine pattern collection, whatever, pattern book. And now I have one sleeve. Mwahaha! <laughs> Two sleeves! And a tiny bit of the body. I have, as you can tell, joined the two sleeves. I had joined one last week. And I'm now knitting the body and doing the decreases. This is a lot of stitches to have on one needle. So it is a, it is a bit of a slog getting around. Um, you do decrease every other round, but still a lot of a lot of stitches to decrease. I say I'm knitting the Gensa, the number two, but I am doing it with the raglans of the. Do they call it the Jacke? I think they do. It's the cardigan, um, which is number one. I did debate whether I wanted this line here to be green or pink. 
It is pink in the uh, original because I've just copied the color scheme of the original. Um, I was thinking I might want green to be more dominant, but then I figured if I do green here, I'll just lose it in with all the other green bits. So I'm doing the pink and it is coming along. It is three color work on three millimeter needles, so it is slow going, but basically I've knit half the cuff and the entire sleeve this week. This will take longer because there are a lot more stitches and it is at that awkward stage where I don't have quite enough cable to magic loop when I come to the sleeves but it I also have too many stitches to only do to only knit and round and be able to knit and round. I need I need it to grow a bit and become smaller. And I keep finding random stitch markers that I've left in because I wanted to mark something on it. So yeah. It looks really nice on screen. In real life it looks like it needs a wash. Uh, to even add the stitches, but on screen it looks really nice. It's not that it doesn't look nice on, in real life, but it looks better on the screen. Yeah. That is my only knitting. And I say only like I haven't... I mean, this body is right now... What? 500 stitches almost? Well, less than that, but still, a lot of stitches, so it's going to take a while. It has, each round is a lot of work. And right now, doing any work is, it feels like a prize, somehow. So yeah, I do, well, I won't be knitting on this during our meetings, but I'll be, I'll be able to knit on the wool and honey. Um, I have, every week, me and two of my co-workers have a coffee meeting uh, over Teams, Microsoft Teams, um, because our boss told us to remember to be social, so we are, we are reminding ourselves to be social. So each Monday, 9am, we have a, a virtual coffee meeting, just to gossip and unload, really, to be honest. And I am Monday eve well, Monday early evening, I am having a Zoom get together with a couple of friends, which is really, <coughs> sorry, we should have done this a long time ago, but we are going to do it Monday. Maybe there will be a kitty. Yuri might join us. Um, but yeah. And I think I have a, another coffee morning with some other co-workers in the week. Oh, and we have a an office-wide meeting on Wednesday. So, there's building there's building knitting time in my work week this week, coming week, which is a bit exciting um, because I found out that I am actually pretty productive during our meetings but I'm not that good at remembering to do it during our coffee meetings for some reason I have to be better at that so yeah I told you that I haven't been 
knitting much I, and that I've been gardening and that I've been sewing and part of what I've been sewing is what I'm wearing so this is the Anderson blouse you saw it last week it is now completed and it is let me just stand up I'm wearing a belt with it I'll just take off the belt it is as you can tell very wide it does have a crossover which I've stitched down because there's nothing to hold it down the only thing holding this in place is the hem down here the Anderson blouse is by so over it and it is designed to be worn inside a garment like high-waisted something Itch. that's really that's the look that you want like this nice drapey look and I now disappear into my sofa so that's really the look that sold it. It does have long sleeves. I don't have buttons for my sleeves. I could order them. I have found the ones I want, but I could also wait for City Stuffer to open up and go down there. But for the moment, it's not critical that there's a button. So, I've decided to just leave it as it is, because really, it makes no difference to me. I can just push them up, or I can leave them down, either way. This blouse, which has this nice wrinkle, drapey effect, because of this, um, it's like wearing pyjamas, paired with some really nice, comfy um, trousers. It's like really, it's really nice. But you don't always wear it like that. And in the pattern, it does tell you to sew a piece of ribbon into the, into the hem because it is a folded over hem so it tells you to to do a ribbon that you can gather when needed and just pull it in I was like well it'll still be billowing and I'm not sure I want that um, just because it looks a bit shapeless like this and I mean could be It's a swipe. So it'll go. I'll just. I'll move you back. Sorry. A bit. Is that better? It is a bit shapeless, which is fine, but it's not. Not the look I wanted. So, I talked about this last week, I think. Style Arc, which is, I think, an Australian company. They do a lot of uh, different different patterns <clears throat> and I noticed from So Birdy So uh, on Instagram which is she is an amazing amazing I mean she does a lot of amazing sewing on Instagram and I learned tips and tricks from her and she did a dress and she used the Obi style belt that Sala came out with. I'm pretty sure it was called this dialogue Obi uh, belt at, at that time when it first came out. It is now called the Starlike Ascot belt and that's the tunic that it goes with. And basically, if you don't know what an 
OB is. Um, it's the belt that you wear around your kimono. Kimono. And so it has this wide inner belt and a thin outer belt which is only sewn down on the back. So you just wrap it around tie it over the ties whatever way you want and there you have it and suddenly it's a very different style because you don't have the billowing uh, in front you can do that of course but just and I must say I'm a bit in luck with this belt maybe not this one particularly although it does work with lots of other garments because it is black and not white but a very pale pink that kind of looks white so it would work with a lot of my dresses for example my more open flow dresses and it just makes wearing this with a pair of trousers without tucking them in or tucking it in just makes it look nicer I think so yeah that's where my the majority of my sewing went and doing this belt did mean I got to use up most of the fa this fabric the fabric is from Stuff Children. I don't think they have any more of it but if if you come across it it is really nice it is a blend something I think and yeah it's just it gives it two different styles I think looks kind of like I have a peplum on anyway I'll just draw you back in oh you know what we can finish this like this because my other bit of knitting knitting sewing is this which to be honest I've cut it I have sewn the um, shoulder seams I have sewn in the label um, um, the bias binding. This is the Vixen. It's the top, it's the green one on here without the pockets because I don't know, the pockets just look odd to me. As you can tell, I haven't gone where, very far. Um, it's supposed to have facings here, but Facings to me has a tendency to just pop out when I put it on even though I will say the, the facing for this is sewn down so that shouldn't that shouldn't be a problem but I decided and I blame sew over it because there's a bit of hand stitching in all of their patterns well at least all the patterns I've used so far and I dislike hand stitching I mean who wants to do hand stitching. The worst was the 1940s wrap dress. This only has a bit in the back of the neck. Um, the rest is done by machine. Oh, um, this bit here is a bit of hand stitching I just did. Um, just to make sure that it doesn't pop open because as I said there's nothing holding it down. It's, it's a wrap top that's not a wrap top at all. So I figured on this I'd do some bias binding and just do that instead. And it still gets the clean look. It gets a cleaner look because you don't have the 
uh, the line of where you sew down the, uh, the facing. This will have sleeves, they are over there. This is from the fabrics from and the pattern, Mila Mila. I'm just basically copying her. Uh, uh, Midis design. Mid. That sounds wrong. Whatever. I'm copying the owner's design. Or, uh, not design, but her top that she made. The only thing is, I didn't think about the placement of my sleeves. So, one sleeve, one half of the sleeve has these scattered confetti or dots and one side has these more solid ones. And, and both of them do and they are mirrored of each other so I'm thinking, well, for the front I'll do the scattered and then the more clumped together solid ones on the back. If I had thought about it, I would have I wouldn't have been able to replicate this effect here on both sides. <clears throat> but I might have just opted to not go across the two so it wouldn't fade. I would just do solid or this up here, whatever. But it is what it is. This is a really simple pattern. I mean, literally, now all I have to do is add the sleeves. Sleeves are optional. Could just fold in the cuff and there you go. Or cuff the uh, edges and hem them. I need to serve side seams and I need to hem it. Very simple. Now, I said, mentioned that I really like the belt I am, um, that I made, the Ascot belt by Starlark. And yes, it does curl over when you sit down and put force on it. It's a belt. It's fabric. It'll do that. I have actually, with the leftovers from the blue fabric, because I bought two meters. That's what it tells you to do in the pattern here. But because I was turning the fabric, um, because the fabric has sorry about that, these scattered dots on the outside near the silver church and the more solid is towards the, or is the middle. So I put it on I didn't follow the grain line I've done this before it works perfectly fine it's a top it's a slightly oversized flowy top so but because I did it that way the two meters also meant that I could cut and I, I admit part of it was a bit of creative cutting but I managed to cut a belt, this belt, same belt, from it and I have cut that out as well as the interfacing. It, it has fusible interfacing inside on all the pieces. All of it is cut, ready to sew as soon as I finish this. Which means I can pretty easily by next week have another finished top and a belt. A belt that I won't be using with it because, as you can tell, oh, well, you can't really tell from there. I could possibly use it. It won't stick out as much below as as the one I'm wearing now does. But yeah, I could possibly wear it. But it's just the fabric is so lovely, and I have a lot of blue items, dark blue items. So. 
would be worn with a lot of things. I'm just looking around to see if there's anything I haven't mentioned. Um, I don't think so. The makeup is because I did shoot some photos of this blouse, both with it tucked into a skirt, which I hope isn't too obvious that I didn't iron it and it's curly, curled up. Um, and also with the belt, so you can see the difference. Um, and by the time this is uploaded, I will probably have put it on my Instagram. And if not, it'll be there soon. <laughs> um, <clears throat> just need to transfer the photos, really. So, with that, I hope you have a great week. Um, remember that being social can be virtual as well. I like to think we're just hanging out here, really. So, I'll see you next week. Bye.